All right. <clears throat> it's time for um it's time for this segment, guys. This is what we've been here for. Uh Deaf Noodles is suing himself from an alternate dimension. That's right, he's suing Keemstar. The opposite side of the coin. Um listen, listen, here's my thing, okay? Before we start getting into this. Before we start getting into this, I reached out to Deaf Noodles. I, I reached, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, that's true. Deaf Noodles is liquid Keemstar. He's, <laughs> this is Christian. Anyway, I reached out to Deaf Noodles, man, and I, I messaged him, and I said, listen, brother, this is what I basically said. I said, listen, man, I understand Keemstar has wronged you. I understand your anger. It's justifiable. It's valid. Um, but. You're going to end up. Um, you're going to end up screwing yourself over, brother. Like you really should just like let it go. Honestly, you really should. It is. It is abysmal for his mental health. He's you know because he's seeing a therapist and he mentions Keemstar. And to be honest with you, like I feel like that. You got to try to let it go, <laughs> honestly, for yourself because you're not going to win this defamation case. It's like impossible to win these. Okay, and. Keemstar has a lot more money than you. And he's going to be able to do whatever game you're going to do better. And that doesn't mean it's right. But you're going to earn your own. You're going to ruin your own. Sorry. You're going to ruin your own career doing this. I mean that genuinely. Not only is it is it pr- placing a mental burden on you. But it's going to be a massive financial burden, man. And like, you know, Def and I, we don't, we don't usually see eye to eye or on the same page, but I meant it when I said, man, like you should try to let it go. And I know it's not as easy as that, but you, this is not good for you, man. If I, I genuinely, like this is the end. This is this. I really feel like this is like the, this is like the nail in the coffin for his career. And I just like, <laughs> I don't want to see that. I know. I know people are like, why you don't blah, blah, blah. He's not that great. Listen, we could all be better. You know what I'm saying? We could all be better. You know, we've all gone through our stints. We've uh, we've all, we've gone through all of our our ups and downs. Def Noodles isn't that bad of a person. I don't even think he's a bad person. I just disagree with him on a lot of stuff. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. If you watch this, Def, please just drop the lawsuit. It's 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 not worth it, brother. Okay. Oh, it's not worth it. Those lawyers are going to tell you what you want to hear because they're probably gassing them up. Yeah, you know, I think that we can. They can't. They that they want you to believe that they can do it. They want to drain your money, man. That's what they exist for. All right, good lawyers don't exist. Okay, <laughs> just want you to know. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Let's read the uh, what is this called? Is this called a deposition? What word do we use? I don't even know words. Anyway, Tipster sent this to me. Um. Here it is. I think he. I think he uh, blanked. Yeah, he redacted everything for us. Somebody did. I don't know. Somebody did. We'll assume Tipster did it. Here it is. United States District Court, Western District of New York. Dennis Vitoza. I don't know how to say his name. I'm so sorry. That's the plaintiff. Complaint. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Daniel Keem. Who cares? Okay. Plaintiff. Dennis. Blah blah blah. Through his attorneys, bond. Some. Who cares? Some stupid law office. Uh, complains of the defendant, Daniel M. Keem, defendant. Okay, blah, blah, blah. See, the thing is, is I'm old and I want to... Oh, can I zoom in? <gasps> I can't. Well, that's, a, that's, that's terrible. Uh, this action arises out of the defendant's entirely fabricated statements that underage girls accused plaintiff of g- grooming. They, that's in quotations. Plaintiff's victim, which gave the clear implication the plaintiff was engaged in pedophilic activities or was the subject of accusations of engaging in pedophilic grooming. Devenant has since admitted these were complete fabrications. Okay. Okay, parties. I think that they show the tweet so we won't have to, you know. Parties. Plaintiff uh, is a natural person domiciled in L.A., California. Defendant is a natural person uh, in, you know, New York. Has some address. They redacted it. <sighs> Jurisdiction is proper, blah, 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 because the amount of the controversy exceeds $75,000, and the parties are citizens of different states. The plaintiff's... Um, Begin a citizen of California <clears throat> and a defendant being a New York citizen, personal, blah, 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 blah. Who really cares about half of this? It's all just legal jargon. California substance, uh, substance, <sighs> dude, I can't say words today. St- substantive law? 
applies to the claims brought by the plaintiff herein. First plaintiff was a citizen of California at the time the defam- uh, defamatory statements were made. Second defendant acknowledged the plaintiff was residing in California when he made the statements. Therefore, defendant knew that the uh, brunt of harm would be felt in California. Okay, whatever. Uh, background. Plaintiff is a popular YouTube personality who posts content under the name Def Noodles, a.k.a. Defamation Noodles, okay? <laughs> I'm just, I mean, he actually is a.k.a. He is known as that, I guess. He just wouldn't characterize himself as that. Plaintiff, plaintiff also posts on uh, his Twitter and other social media accounts. I thought he didn't have a Twitter. I thought he was banned. Defendant is a popular YouTube personality who posts content under the name Keemstar. Defendant also posts on his Twitter and other social media accounts. Plaintiff and defendant are direct competitors in the social media in- What? Direct competitors in the social media influencer industry? What? Yeah, this is going to go to the Supreme Court. Can't speak. How do you determine that? How are they direct competitors? Are they direct comp- are they direct competitors because they do similar news styles? Like why would you consider them direct competitors? Because they just don't like each other. Does that make them competitors? I feel like that's just I don't know, dude. Okay. <clears throat> on May 21st, 2021, on his verified Twitter account, defendant posted the following tweet concerning the plaintiff. The Deaf Noodles has allegedly groomed girls from ages 12 to 15. Big YouTube source. Victims are scared of him and wish to stay uh, anonymous, but come forward soon. Then he, Keemstar goes on to say, Deaf Noodles has declined to give us a comment on these allegations made against him. Now, here's the thing. First of all, I know Keemstar just says these were a joke, and uh, if you read through the comments, because I remember I had people, I, but I believe what had happened, this is my understanding, is that Def Noodles was running forward with uh, bad stories, like just like inaccurate stories about a lot of different topics, and people in the commentary community were getting tired of it, so they, this is kind of what came out of that. It's supposed to be like a joke of, uh, and supposed, I mean, I think the point of this joke is supposed to communicate, um, like, hey. There's, uh, you know, Def, Def Noodles is, is posting a lot of misinformation, so we're going to counter that with misinformation. My thing is, is I feel like, um, I feel like just on the, like the, alleg- I don't know, dude, because it says allegedly, it's not even ha- in like hard. It's just like, hey, I heard from somebody. I mean, I, can you even run... You have to prove a lot for a defamation lawsuit. The action of dragging the good reputation of somebody, slander or libel. I just don't know if he's going to get with that. I really don't. And I also think that like his his career as a YouTuber kind of took off at that point. I feel like that's the truth, right? Well, so, we, folks, let's sh- get Dennis. Sh- sh- he said May twenty first, twenty twenty one. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's scroll all the way down. To like a year ago, right? So this is last year. How many? What? How do we? How? What is twenty twenty one? October twenty twenty. Okay. All right. So I guess he's been doing a roughly the same views. He's been fairly consistent. We said May, right? It seems like every time. Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm seeing some stuff here. Okay. Um, December twenty twenty one. So we're doing about 100k views. He's pretty he's been pretty consistent. Can you even I mean, can you even prove he lost any money here? March 7th, 2021. So far no. I don't know if he can Mar- we're still in March. Oh my god. I really scrolled down a lot. I just feel like what he's not got- going to be able This is July. June, July. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I, I'm not seeing a dip off. If anything, these numbers may be slightly going up. I don't know. They're all relatively... I mean, can he prove that he lost anything? Really? I don't know if he can. I don't... I don't. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I have to sue Def Noodles for calling me an incel. <laughs> these statements were complete and utter fabrications. There were no allegations by any girls underage or not. The plaintiff, the plaintiff had groomed them or otherwise engage in inappropriate conduct of a sexual nature. Moreover, uh, contrary to the defendant's false claims, neither defendant nor anyone acting on the defendant's behalf made any attempt to seek on the comment uh, fabricate allegations. Oh, I guess he's claiming that Def, he never reached out to Def on <laughs> allegations. <laughs> okay. To the contrary, defendant blocked the plaintiff on Twitter, ensuring he would have no ability to publicly respond to the defendant's fabricated claims. Those who read the comment on the tweet um, clearly understood it as a stating actual verifiable facts about the plaintiff. For example, the next day on March 22nd, 2021, a user with the Twitter handle Memelin, 
responds to the tweet and stated, showing them girls his little noodles. Now, I mean, listen, I don't know if these lawyers will be educated in meme culture, but if you are, memelin quite literally sounds like a troll account to me. Another user with the handle ChrisMCYT posted, so Deaf Noodles might be a, a pedophile? <gasps> oh, little noodles. Plaintiff also received direct messages and tweets asking him to comment on the false allegations in the tweet and expressing that they understood the tweet to make the accusation that the plaintiff was the subject of allegations of grooming underage girls for sex and was involved in pedophilia. The day of the tweet, a user with the Twitter ha- handle Ali Saxi tweeted, hopefully MSM picks this up. Can't have another pedo running around. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I know how this feels because I made that really inappropriate joke. Like, if she's old enough to believe, she's old enough to breathe. Thanks very much, Andre Lopez. They cut that last part out, and they're like, this guy's disgusting. Oh, my God. So I've had this. I, I Could I sue for defamation? <laughs> I feel like I can't. I mean, who, wants, who wants the stress of that anyway? It's such a sad thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, you should have you groomed a major, Steph. Um, okay. <laughs> Other tweets called for an official investigation and to believe the victims, but the truth was that there is nothing to investigate and there were no victims, not even alleged ones. And defendant knew this, yet he allowed his lies to spread like wildfire around social media while remaining silent. Um, I mean, I, okay, so I see the argument is that like there were never allegations? I, what, I just I don't know if it's 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 gonna be written off as a joke. I feel I just don't think you're gonna win, Def. I don't know. I mean, listen, you know what? I'm gonna be on. He pro, he deserves to win it because Keemstar did a bad thing, right? And even if your argument is well, Def Noodles was 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 purporting bad information, at the very least, I imagine Def thought they were real. You know, versus Keemstar knowing it wasn't and trying to like you know take a shot at him. So honestly. He probably should get the money, but he's just not going to. Okay? So, um, okay. Although Plinta tried to defend himself on his own account, his social media following was not as broad as the defendants. His efforts were not able to, some word, I guess, alleviate the harm. I'm using a different word. Uh, the harm done to the defendants, malicious disinformation campaign. As such, Plaintiff's reputation was injured, per se, because of the fake accusations of criminal conduct. Wow, incredible. It goes on here. No, it doesn't. I think that's it. Oh, here's the... Is that it? No, it's not. What the hell's happening? Why, why did it stop here? What, is everything so out of whack? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, wait. <laughs> wait. I'm so confused. It, oh, this is the next one. I got confused. Plaintiff sub. Okay, well, apparently realizing that he was going to be sued for defamation, defendant then engaged in an ill-fated and thinly veiled attempt to, uh, whatever, argue that the tweets everybody understood to be legitimate report, uh, understood as a legitimate report of plaintiff's victims on sex crimes. What? Argue that the tweet everyone understood as a legitimate report. Okay, I think they're just trying to say that he said it was a joke. On February 20, uh, 5th, 2022, he uh, tweeted a confession where he admitted to the tweet was total fabrication. Don't you remember he kept posting nonstop fake pedo stories on YouTubers? So I posted a tweet to mock him in May 2021. Everyone knows this is a joke that I'm mocking him, but now he's taking it completely serious, uh, completely out of context, acting like it's a serious allegation. Okay, great. Cool stuff. <clears throat> So after seeing responses to the tweet taking it seriously, defendant nearly eight months later issued a confession claiming everybody knew it was a joke, but the defendant knew that people did not read it as a joke as evidenced by the responses to the tweet. Defendant did nothing to clarify or correct the false statements in the tweet until many months later after the damage had been done. Not only that, but in the confession, defendant doubled down on the false claim that the plaintiff had declined to comment defendant on the false allegations. In doing so, defendant left opened the possibility that plaintiff failure to address the joke allegations might mean perhaps that uh, there was a kernel of truth to the false allegations. Uh, Although the defendant's confession was a jailhouse lawyer attempt at (laughs) immunizing himself from liability or or for defamation, it really, uh, in reality, it constitutes conclusive evidence of the actual malice as the truth of the tweet. Plaintiff now brings this action to recover actual Compensatory, fuck, dude, these words. I hate lawyers. Uh, an exemplary punitive damages against the defendant. First cause of action: plaintiff repeats the allegations in paragraphs. Blah blah blah. blah. As described by the false statements. Okay, uh, that was an actual underage girl. Blah blah blah. Yeah, pretty much just uh, restating what we already know. 
these girls were victims. These girls were scared. Okay, this just kind of like points to uh, some of their evidence. Um, I mean, I don't think that this is super relevant. I said he was intended to use these collisions. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, it's, it's just going through what we already know. It's basically a pair for... Okay, so... He respectfully demands judgment against the defendant, awarding uh, he wants seventy five thousand dollars plus interest. Okay, he also wants uh, awarding mental anguish for another twenty five thousand dollars. I mean seventy five thousand, so that's one hundred fifty thousand. I'm imagining. Uh, and then he also wants damn more money, uh, but not a specific amount for malicious conduct. Okay, so he wants one hundred and fifty grand. Okay. Uh, he also wants the, the attorney fees and whatnot. Okay. Well, uh, that's it. Um, that's it. That's all. I guess, I guess that's it. Here's what I will say, though. Is I, I did go... Look Maybe at this. He spent $75,000 on therapy since this accusation happened. Could you spend $75,000... Death $75, noodles as innocent. We are very good friends. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey Epstein. Thank you for that info. So I don't know who I don't I I don't know who donated that money. That four that four dollars and twenty cents, but clearly it was Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> um. Okay. I mean, I, I think that. Let me see something because I think. I think our friend Keemstar Well. Got called. Do I feel like care information is. Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, loud got, and clear. We got Keem, sorry. Look, I, I don't know how much I can say. My attorney hasn't screamed at me not to say anything yet. Um, yeah, I'm surprised you're here, kind of, to be honest. I had a, well, I had a meeting with my main attorney, and then he put me in contact with the attorney that is, like, the expert in this. And we had just, like, a brief meeting today. And we all, like, kind of sat down and read through the thing and had a big laugh. And that was pretty much the end of it. I mean, okay. my guys and my legal team is completely on all of this. And... I don't see any way that I don't walk away with his YouTube play button. Like I just, <laughs> that's the oh. ultimate goal will be the play button. Like I want that hanging on my wall as a trophy. Like so how would he even get the play button though? Like why would you? Okay. We got, we, I mean, I feel like you probably shouldn't have said that to me. That suggests like malicious intent in some capacity, you know, got to understand. I can't really answer too many questions, right, but right. I will say this. I, I will say this Augie. All right. This guy has said on multiple occasions, all right, that I lick toilets. Do I lick toilets or is that defamation? Maybe. Might. I don't think anybody would not watch you if you lick toilets, though. I think that's the argument, right? Whereas, like, his argument is people think I'm a legitimate, you know, child predator. So probably not the same thing. But maybe. I mean, this, this lawyer could probably make a decent argument. All right. He said that I was incest. I mean, it, am, I a result, am I a result of incest? Or is that defamation? Possible. This guy said, I eat feces. I eat turds and shit. Do I do that? <laughs> I mean, Keemstar has a decent fundamental argument, though. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> if, if Def Noodles is just doing it back to him, like, can he really, um, like, you know what I mean? Like, what can, uh, you're kind of engaging in the back and forth. I guess it really doesn't help you out there. Is there proof? So can you prove that I in a court of that, law? But you know what else he's accused you of in the past? Uh, being yeah. a pedophile and beating your your, your girlfriend. You know it, mm, that true. too. I yeah, mean that the, the tweet like he's that I made put out. serious criminal know. allegations against you. I'm gonna watch what the okay, let's just say. think about this one. He said on his Instagram, I believe. All right, I think it was on Instagram that I am responsible for taking down his Twitter. Where's the proof? Prove that we're going to court now. There's no more Ethan Klein and you know this audience that just believes anything you say. We're in a court of law. Prove it. Prove how I took that on your Twitter. If not, <clears throat> that is defamation. All right. Right. So I will say one thing that's very interesting is that like this all seems to be coming. I don't know. Did how long ago did he announce this lawsuit? A while ago, right? So was he working on it for a while or welcome folks? Because like this isn't in, like to be insulting, but his numbers have dipped a bit in the past, let's say month or two. So yeah, probably around here is where things were like consistent. The things started to kind of go downhill. So do you think like you know, once he started talking about Ben Shapiro? Um so I wonder if part of it's like maybe his numbers started to go down. He's lost a bit of credibility from interactions with other people, kind of getting a story, I would say, wrong. Uh, so I wonder if part of the motivation is that. 
is like, oh, we're you know, I've, I've, I'm, I'm losing money now, and then like, there's the argument. I, I, I wonder. Um, like, if my, if my jo- joke caused damages or whatever, you know, the, the court will, you know, I, 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 my joke didn't cause damages. It was a joke, uh, and I'm going to be found innocent of, of that for sure. Um, uh-huh. But you know, they're going to look at the things that he's done, the things that he said, and the damages on that, and the things I've done, and things I've said, and the damages on that. And when it all gets calculated and the math is done, he's going to owe me money. I, I don't see this playing out any other way. And I will be reasonable, and I will not ask for a ton of money from him. I will negotiate for a YouTube play button, and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> oh my god. He, the, Keem Stars just said, like, he's not going to negotiate for money. He just wants the play button. Like, that's... I mean, that's a good deal, Def, if you lose, but oh my god. Amen. All right. And so, yeah, guys, that's going to be... All right. Well, that was... <laughs> Jesus, dude. I feel so bad for Def Noodles, to be honest with you, brothers. All right. Let's see what the Ethan and them have to say about this. It's a bit short segment. We should though. do something... I'm just curious. Relatively short. I mean, Billy D... Yeah, that, I mean, we could yeah, talk about the deaf like noodles it. thing. You think uh, maybe that'll take too long? Uh, there's not a lot of information out there right. about yeah, deaf. About it. Yeah, why don't we talk about that? And then we so deaf noodles it. announced that he is suing Keemstar. <clears throat> now, this is really took me by surprise. I have to say, murderer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I never watched deaf noodles say that. I forgot. And about I can't that, say that Keemstar doesn't deserve it. But let's analyze this yeah, I agree with that. from a you know yeah. completely fair. I'm gonna be uh, impartial as possible. Obviously, I like deaf and hate Keemstar, as you guys know. <laughs> uh, and Keemstar has defamed me and many other people. So, yep. but let, let's look at this impartially. Um, here, first of all, this is where he announced it, right? Half that's Lux. Anyway, folks, as you read in the title of the video, I am suing Keemstar. Now, for those of you who started following me recently and are not aware, nearly one year ago, Keemstar knowingly published false and defamatory allegations against me. He claimed I groomed numerous underage girls. Keemstar has since confessed twice to fabricating these allegations to punish me. He has never officially retracted these allegations, nor has he ever corrected oh, them. Folks. These allegations have caused me great harm socially and professionally. I'm now suing him to clear my name of these false allegations. What 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 harm did it cause him? Like, did he lose brand deals or something? What what uh, what like I I mean that's my question. Like, did he lose brand deals? Did he lose the opportunity to talk with people? Um, I I wonder because I I mean I don't know. It's possible, but I feel like it didn't happen. Um, I, I feel like he didn't lose brand deals or anything. Did he? Do I just not know something? Mental stress? Yeah, I get that. But uh, yeah, I guess maybe he's been pretty actively talking about it. I guess so. Allegations and to hold him accountable for knowingly making false accusations. And I'll call Now, Hello. can I say I have a, I can be a witness in a way? Go ahead. Some sort of a witness because I remember when Kim Star posted that, and then I think maybe one of you guys <laughs> shared it or something. And when I saw that th- that tweet or headline, what? whatever it was, I was like, oh, no, not Dev. Like, I had the same reaction. Right? Because we were all loving him. And I was like, you know, it's like when the Me Too happens and it's like, oh, no, not my f- oh. favorite actor. Or what, So you believed it? <laughs> Listen, okay. We should take all allegations seriously and consider them. But we should also keep in mind that you need some kind of proof before you believe a certain way about somebody. So what it sounds like they're saying here is like, oh, man, I heard Def did this thing and I, th- I thought it was true. It's like, ah. You know, like, don't think that at first. Think, hmm, interesting. Let me investigate further. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, was, I had that feeling, like, not deaf. And then um, and then I was like, oh, obviously it's Keemstar, so got to look into it. But there you go. Yep. it did that yeah. moment to me. And then it's like at the back of your head, you know, it's there. There's like, maybe. So I had the same exact reaction when I saw that. I was like, holy shit. You know, I believed it when I saw it. Because I don't know. Keemstar, wow. the, he, the thing about Keemstar is he professes to be a legitimate news source. Obviously, that's debatable for people that know him well. That's fair. I don't think that people... That's not debatable at all. He's not a legitimate news source. He's a fucking idiot. I mean, again, let's, he uh, he had... If anybody can push defamation, I mean, it's Coleman Carson, brother. He he, uh, he started assassinated that guy's career. So, you know, oh, oh, let me report on this, this information of a 19 and 17 year old sleeping together, but let's not get the ages. Make sure we don't say that. Like, yeah, real smart smart there, uh, Well, that consume his content necessarily? know what a liar he is mm-hmm. you know what i mean but also yeah they just think he's um, based <laughs> these are fucking idiots but also he's pro- <laughs> he's reported on several very serious allegations of sa and stuff so like taken if you take his track record as a news person who has broke several serious stories of this nature i think you have a really good argument that he uh has you know uh breached his responsibilities here that he's like credible enough. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. If Keemstar says he's a legitimate news source, which he has said, he he thinks that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, maybe that does strengthen his uh, Def's argument a little more. But I don't know, man. I just feel like he's not going to win. Now, defamation. Well, let me read. This. So this is the tweet he's referring to. Def, right. Nood- uh, Def Noodles has allegedly groomed girls ages twelve to fifteen. 
big YouTuber source said, victims are scared of him and wish to stay anonymous but may come forward soon. Hashtag drama alert. And then he responded to it saying, Death Noodles has declined to give us a comment on these allegations made against him. Now what's interesting is this tweet's still up. It is, yeah. And he never retracted it. Hmm. Um, only a year later, uh, a year, let's see, a year later, he said this. This is the tweet that's in the filing, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is actually also in the filing. He says, um, don't you remember he kept posting nonstop fake P word stories on YouTube. So I posted this tweet to mock him. In May 2021, everyone knows this is who, who deleted their tweet. Is that somebody else? The joke that I'm mocking him, but now he's taking it completely out of context, acting like a serious allegation. So what's interesting about this statement is one, so def- I have to explain defamation because a lot of people don't understand it. Defamation isn't just lying about someone, it's when you lie about someone maliciously with the intent to harm their reputation while knowing mm-hmm. that it's not true. That's a super high bar to reach. And what this tweet does, mm. which was posted a year later, um, actually proves malicious intent, and he knew it wasn't true. Does it prove malicious intent? I mean, I just, I want, I just don't know how a lawyer would look at it. Um, I just don't know. How would you define malicious intent? Um, if you describe someone's words or actions as malicious, you mean that they are intended to harm people or their reputation or cause them embarrassment and upset. I mean, Keemstar will just say it was a joke and that Def does the same thing to him. And so that's just like their ebb and flow. Could it? I mean, it's uh, he might be able to do it. I just feel like he's not going to be able to do it. So it's not, I don't think he's going to be able to prove that. Tweet, because on one hand, he's saying you know that it was a joke, and everybody knew that it wasn't serious. I actually don't believe that. I think the only the only reason people knew it wasn't serious is because uh, Def Noodles kept talking about it and being like, "This is bullshit." He made it up and stuff like that. But Keemstar never uh, clarified uh, or or retracted it. So like the original here, you have yeah, the, the, the original, original still out. I mean, yeah. And Keemstar sent that to me. He made a video saying I stole money from a video game to mm-hmm. embezzled money, and I pro- I did a whole video proving that it wasn't true, and it's still up. So like technically, yeah. I have a I have. I, I could technically sue him for defamation. Um, well, I don't know if he could sue him for defamation because I don't think he could prove he lied. So I think he was. I think he thinks he was telling the truth. I, I you know, but okay. The same way, right? By the way, if he's saying that everybody knew it was a joke, it's like let's look at the comments. Do people know it's a joke? Yeah, he has some comments in the filing right. to show that people thought it, thought it was real. Yep. Exactly. Um, did you guys anyone read the full filing? I haven't read. I, mean, I just saw. I just saw excerpts and screenshots and stuff. Uh, I read through it. I mean, I'm no lawyer, but uh, here no, it is. It's not an expert opinion, but right. yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, I don't think there's much else to look at here at all. All right. Well. Listen, <clears throat> good luck to you, Def. I don't think, uh, good luck, man. But, uh, I don't think you're going to win, brother. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.